It's in the house. God changes people's stories here. A witness in the house? God turns things around for his people here. A witness in the house? God heals all manner of sickness and all manner of disease here. A witness here. God turns the barren in their numbers to fruitful mother of children. A witness here. May the ministry of the potter answer in your life today. In Jeremiah chapter 18, number 6, hear what he said. O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. God is giving you a shape and a color in this service today. Yeah. Go to the potter's house and I will show you my word. You have come. It will show you what will shape your life. Yeah. To all first timers, welcome home. For 43 years running without a break, God has gone to change people's stories in this place. Welcome to a mountain of change of story. Amen. Welcome to a mountain of transformation. Amen. Welcome to a mountain that sets free from all oppressions of the devil. Amen. Welcome to a mountain of new dawn. For everyone engaging in the ongoing church group prophetic agenda, as the Lord leaves, before the end of the first half, everyone will know God's favor has answered on your life. Yeah. Serving God and the interest of his kingdom pays the unmatchable. Serving God and the interest of his kingdom pays the unmatchable. We're on part two of this teaching. Unmatchable connotes there is nowhere else that can match the returns from serving God. Thou shalt serve and God shall bless. And God shall take sickness away from your body. You shall not be barren or cast young in the land. The number of your days, God will fulfill. <laughs> there is no match anywhere under the sun. To that package. Exodus 23, 25 and 26. So serving God is no mere religious activity or a hobby. Serving God is a big time business with unmatchable returns as package. You say business? Yes. Jesus said, don't you think I must be about my father's business? Luke 2, 49. Paul also wrote and said, be not slothful in business, Romans 12, 11, but fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. So serving God is business. 
with unmatchable returns as package. Serving God is business with unmatchable returns. You know, they turn it to business. No, we didn't turn it. We met it as business. We met it as business. God called it business. Thou shalt serve and expect the following as returns. Is that no business? Thou shalt invest of your time, your energy, and your resources and expect this as your returns. <laughs> we didn't turn it. God set it up as business. Serving God is kingdom business with undeniable earthly returns. <laughs> not serving your church, not serving your pastor. I said serving God. Serving God is business. And serving God is the platform for the rise of giants in the kingdom. Uh, and it's normal. You can't get promoted when you are off service. But your rise continues as long as you remain in service. For instance, if you are in the military and you took off as second lieutenant, you'll be second lieutenant retired for life. Your children, your grandchild may become a general. That doesn't change your status. If you write general, impersonation. So you are second lieutenant retired till death. So when you step out of service, uh, you have surrendered your destiny by stagnating it. You have to remain in service for the giant to come alive. Every wrestling heavyweight champion began as a baby and they began fighting behind their mother's kitchen <laughs> and they began to grow and develop muscles before he became a giant. Giants are not born in a day. <laughs> you develop through a process. When you withdraw from that process, it's over. Why am I saying this? The end time church is ordained a church of giants. <laughs> that means die hard servants of God who will stay the cause to the lay hold of God's ultimate agenda for their life. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. Serving God is big time business. Is God that makes great. In thy hand is it to make great. There are no great people in the kingdom. It is the backing of the great God that makes ordinary people appear great. And that happens on the platform of service. Which one is greater? The one who sits down and be served or the one who serves? Is it not in your own concept, the one that sits down? But that means your miss as one that serves and is the son of the highest. Glory to God. Luke 22, verse 27. So the greatest in the kingdom are they that serve. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, no one shall be an onlooker in this great move. And may serving God become your new lifestyle from henceforth. Yeah. They said about David, you are more than 10,000 of us. And who was David? I found David, my servant. 
Psalm 89 and verse 20. And second Samuel 18, verse 3, you are more than 10,000 of us. Serving God turned the teenager to the envy of the king. Awesome God. So I see teenage giants rising. I see the rise of young men and women in this commission. <laughs> After the order of David, a man with a heart for God. I find a man after my own heart means a man with a heart for me. A man whose heart is panting after me and will do my bidding any day, who will do all my commandments. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Serving God, big time business. When we engage, for instance, in praying kingdom advancement prayers behind our closets, God's verdict is to reward us openly. We have done it in the secret. It comes out to reward us openly. So, Every aspect of kingdom and divorce is highly profitable. So no one has an excuse not to, not to be involved. The most valuable of all stewardship platforms is so many endeavors, not endeavors. There are many parts to it. We saw over 7,000 people got saved yesterday and several other tens of thousands invited to church. Every aspect of this holds rewards. When you bring people to him in church, you are honoring him. And he that honors me, I will honor. When you go after winning souls, you inherit glory because he that winner souls is wise, and the wise shall inherit what? Glory. Glory means termination of shame and reproach. Therefore, as the Lord lives, no one lacks honor from heaven this year. Amen. No one suffers shame and reproach anymore in this church. Amen. Your days of heavenly order of surprises are finally here. When you invest your resources in bringing people to church, <laughs> the Bible says that give it to the poor shall not lack. You scatter, you have more. You withhold, it comes down. You commit to it, it keeps changing your story financially forever. When whatever moves God moves you, it keeps moving you forward. When whatever moves God moves you, it keeps moving you forward. You never know a backward trend anymore in your life. Just like this church has never suffered a backward trend in 43 years, you never know a backward trend anymore in your life. Yeah. Let's look at some platforms for kingdom advancement endeavors. One, targeting specific souls.
and families to bring to Christ. From your workplace, your business place, your offices, your neighborhood. One of us here pray down a devout Muslim whose wife gave her life to Christ, but the wife was scared to even think about the husband turning to Christ because he was a learned individual in his religion. He prayed three days. This soul winner took about three days in prayer. On Sunday, it was the man who told the wife, I'm going to church with you today. Today, they are all members of the church. He targeted that soul and secured that soul for the kingdom. We saw Andrew in John 1, 40 to 42. He saw his brother Simon and brought him to Christ, targeting individuals. We saw Philip in 45, after 45 of, of that scripture. He saw Nathaniel and brought him to Christ. Paul answered the jailer, believe and shall be saved and your household. So God believes in salvation of families. So we can target families in prayers. And strategically approach such individuals for Christ. Either winners who must be wise. You put up appropriate, righteous baits. I have this book for you, sir. I'm sure it's going to be a blessing to you. It's a bait. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. There was one interesting testimony today in the church that is relevant to the needs of his life. Yes, sir. It's a bait. Yes, sir. Righteous baits. I make you take glory and a and nepotan clerianos. May God name a family with you this month. Amen. That you prayed down into the kingdom and they are celebrating God being free from the dungeon of darkness. May God name an individual with you, a friend who does not know your God, but he believes so much in you and is confident talking to you. Why don't you confidentially talk to him? My friend, you know, I need to tell you this. Jesus changed my story. So, so day. One thing I know is that the kind of joy I have now, I never knew it before. Your testimony is your strongest message. Come see a man who told me all things ever I did. Is this not the Christ? The labor of the foolish will disappear because it doesn't have to go to the city. Target individuals, target families within your vicinity and love them into the kingdom. Mama Betty Lasha loved me into Christ. I had a big religious head. I didn't believe that I needed salvation. I was born inside the church. So what is salvation? I said, my mother born, born me. That's what we see in the East. He born me inside the church building. <laughs> So, to me, I was saved from heaven. How <laughs> can you talk salvation to me? Who are you? Where were you born? You said maternity. I go, you need salvation. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but there was love in her eyes. Short American woman, you could pick love in her eyes. Not only me, she brought quite a number of young boys to, to Christ. I wept when she went home at 92. So engage the love sequel. 
No religious look, love. Do you really love this person to be out of the dungeon of afflictions that will culminate in hellfire We God has no plan for anyone to go into? Then let that be your motivation. And they that turn men to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Start from somewhere. Number two platform is passionate invitation of your contact to come to church. Passionate invitation of your contact to come to church. Next Sunday is a covenant day of business breakthroughs. And I can tell you something, there is no such service in our church without outstanding outbreak of testimonies. Come with me. It's a year of fortune in our church. Come along. Not all winners sweat to win. Sweating is a curse. Come along. Passionate, passionate invitation of your contest to Christ. For in the multitude of people is the king's honor. Proverbs 14, 28. And he that honors me, I will honor. So, where you engage in bringing people to Jesus, he sees as honor, which qualifies you for his honor in return. No one shall name shame with you anymore. In Revelation 22, verse 17 and 18, and the spirit and the bride <coughs> say, come. Let him that hear it say, come. <coughs> let him that is at last, come. And so we let him come and take the water of life freely. Come and see. That's the task. You are going places. <laughs> but for our stewardship to qualify for the world's one, we must serve him cheerfully. I caught this word back in 1977. Can I have the water, please? The Trinity 28 and verse 47 and 48. The Trinity 28. Shall we together read? Serving God is not enough, but serving Him correctly, which includes serving Him with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Because God loves a cheerful giver. It is joy that makes our stewardship fruitful. Joy chapter 1 verse 12 all the harvest of the field is withered because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Where your joy stops is where your reward stops. Therefore rejoice in the Lord. And again I say what? Rejoice. Rejoice evermore. God is not a taskmaster. Don't see serving God as a burden. 
See it as a privilege. Don't see serving God as a burden. See it always as a privilege. Let your joy continue to well up from your inside. What a privilege. What a privilege. What a privilege. As we read in the opening psalm, Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7, let the people praise thee, O God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall they achieve thy increase. Only after then. Only after then. <laughs> and God shall bless us, and not the answer that shall fear him. So we come with joy and gladness. We serve with joy and gladness. You are not grinning. You are not, mm, if not that they said. No. Someone asked me many years ago, he said, Brother David, do you ever have problems? I said, Maybe he came and he didn't know. Serving God with joy is a most rewarding platform for profitable stewardship. Your joy, another man will not take away. Amen. Two, we must serve God willingly. Willingly. If I do this thing willingly, Paul said, I have a reward. But if against my will, I'm only marking time. I'm only marking time. I'm like a robot. I don't expect anything at all. If I do this thing willingly, I qualify for the wars. Now, in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 12, if there be frost, a willing mind is accepted according to what a man has, not according to what he has not. So it's not acceptable, except it's from, coming from a willing heart. There must be first a willing heart. You are, oh my God, you, 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 your entire being <laughs> is after the things you are doing. You are, you are not doing it to show up. It's from a willing heart. Let's look at a few of the returns as we round up. Serving God procures health and vitality. Health and vitality. Romans, I mean, John 15, verses 1 and 2. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband of man. Every branch in me, the brethren of fruit, he take it away. And every branch that bear the truth, he forget or keeps feet so it can keep bearing more fruit. Fruit bearing commits God to keep us feet. Serving God fruitfully entitles us to divine fitness, divine fitness, divine fitness. We saw this picture glaringly in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 down to 20, for time 17 and 20. Now, every new creature is redeemed an ambassador for Christ. Reconciling the world back to God, not a title. That will make an ambassador. There are many ambassadors here. There are many kingdom ambassadors in this church that enjoys kingdom immunity without knowing anything is happening. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so no matter the heat on this earth, you'll be exempted. The various ambassadors of nations in Nigeria, they draw from their nation, not from Nigeria. They eat the food of their nation, yes, sir. not the food of Nigeria. They earn the money of their nation, yes. not Nigerian money. Yes. Ameko Kanteno ambassadors. You don't need a degree in international relations. You need a degree in soul winning. 
reconciling the world back to God makes you an ambassador for Christ. Operating under the riches of his glory. Enjoying the heavenly order of immunity. You may never find an ambassador in a police station arrested by road traffic. The immunity of his office will not take that. When you pick him, you pick his nation. And the only qualification that means an ambassador in all of scriptures concerning the word back to God. So you pray to bring people to God. You go out to bring people to God. You invite them to bring them to God. Anything you do to bring people to God makes you an ambassador of Christ. Now, Proverbs 13, 17, a faithful ambassador is entitled to healthy living. A faithful ambassador is entitled to healthy living. There was a time here, one Shiloh, wonderful day. I was speaking to my son, Abioye. He couldn't hear me on this seat. I said, I'll be going there to speak to be amplifying it to them. <laughs> I had to write it down that when I go up, you come with me. In case they can't hear me, I'll be speaking to your ears in the place. You'll be saying it to them. Oh I said, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Thank you. I punished myself because I took cold water <laughs> that I don't take. That's what happened to me. You know. I took cold water last in 97. Mm. Don't enjoy yourself. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. My God, a faith, sir, my heart will come out because I must reach, I must reach them that day. I must reach them. It was an impartation day. I must reach them. You know she do impartation service? Yes, sir. No, you can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> If it means opening my tummy and pull out my intestine. <laughs> a faithful ambassador is entitled to her deliverance. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, from this tearing of water yes. till the end of your life, sickness will leave you alone. Yes. Disease will leave you alone. Affliction will leave you alone. You know why? The laborers are few. So God is committed to keep feet the few so they can keep the animal fruit. Can I have you say with me? I thank you for the privilege of being a laborer in your vineyard. And because according to your word, the laborers are few, and therefore you have vowed to keep fit the few laborers in your vineyard. Thank you for keeping me fit the remaining days of my life. Come and give the Lord a big hand of praise. I'm sure you know that health is the most valuable asset to man. How many know that? <laughs> when health is challenged, every other thing loses value. Every other thing loses value. You can't discuss with someone on oxygen about business. Hmm? If he sees your hand, show him his hand. That's why they say here, health is worth. 
You won't suffer a wreck. <laughs> Number two, it secures supernatural breakthroughs. Serving God. Can I call it? Procure supernatural breakthroughs. You are buying it. Say, buy the truth, buy the truth, buy the truth. Buy the truth of stewardship. Luke chapter 5, we saw how Peter gave his boat to Jesus. He suffered frustration all night. They caught nothing. But after offering a service to Jesus, he experienced a net breaking, book sinking order of breakthrough. Depart from me, Lord, I'm a sinner. It was too much. It was too much. Serving God brings you into the too much realm of breakthroughs. Too much realm of breakthroughs. Too much realm of breakthroughs. Yeah. Serving God in truth and indeed. Procure supernatural breakthrough for God's people. In Nabaku chapter 3, revive thy work, O God. In the midst of the year, make known thy power. And then he says, So doing that, although the fig tree may not blossom, we are wasting time, there might not be fruit in the vine, verse 17 to 19. But keep rejoicing as you do it. Then the Lord will show up and make your feet like a spirit. And get you up upon your high places. <laughs> so, serving God always changes people's stories. It may not appear real at the beginning. <laughs> Mark chapter 4, 27 and 28, when they come with us as a man, uh, 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 let's start from verse 25, please. Twenty-six, yes. So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and wake, and the seed should grow. He knows not how, for the earth bringeth forth fruit of itself. Frost, the blade, it doesn't look like it. it looks like grass. <laughs> I told you these folks are wasting their life. They're no, 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 just wait. After the grass, then comes the flower. After the flower, then comes the corn and the full corn. It comes in faces. I was showing our Monday secretary yesterday our humorous income testimonies in 82. You know, uh, 150 naira in a month and then uh, 30 naira. <laughs> Amazing things. Huh? Like grass, 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 grass. <laughs> You better stay on. Your breakthrough is at the door. I said your breakthrough is at the door. <laughs> when your cloud is full, your rain will fall. That's slow. May this man be a feeling of the cloud man for you. <laughs> that will result in your rainfall. <laughs> the rain of Favor and fortune will come on your life. <laughs> Ecclesiastes chapter 11, number 3. If the cloud be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. <laughs> when your cloud is full, your rain will fall. When your cloud is full, your rain will fall. May this be a cloud filling month for every winner. Yeah. Which will bring you another rainy season in your life. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everyone. Yeah. Today is a covenant day of fruitfulness. Please know that all provisions of redemption deliver on the platform of the covenant. I have these provisions for you 
if you will meet these conditions. Including salvation, which is free, but only accessible by genuine repentance. <laughs> what shall we do? He said, don't do anything. No, no. Repent. Repent. Repent and be converted. Repent. You have to repent to assess the free gift of salvation. Repent. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Without genuine repentance, there is no conversion, there is no blotting away of no sin. He wants all men saved. Oh, yes. The grace of God has appeared to all men. Oh, yes. But you can only assess it through repentance. 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 Healing, deliverance, breakthroughs, including fruitfulness of our body, they are all deliverable through covenant engagement, knowing what to do to bring them in. No one can be healed without faith. And faith it's not just believing that God can do it, but knowing what God has in store concerning your head and lay hold on it by faith. And then you draw the healing virtue into your body. Deliverance only happens by light, 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 not by turning your head, <laughs> by light. No siege of darkness can challenge the authority of light. And that light shines in darkness and darkness cannot undo it. So everything available to us in, in redemption is accessible by covenant. They call it tables of the covenant. We are in the end times. Sir. All this claiming uh, Philippians 4.19 won't work. You start from 15 for it to deliver. Amen. You don't start from 15, you've been wasting your mouth. My God shall supply all my needs. On what ground? <laughs> no talk communicated with me concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. Amen. Ah, have you received your sacrifice? Amen. My God shall supply all your needs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Oh, do I go? It's okay. It won't. Arise, shine, your light is come. Yes. Who are these that fly as a cloud? It's an encounter with light that is us in the flight. So, so it, 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 these are not guesswork. You know, this abracadabra approach won't work. Wake up, please. Wake up, please. Wake up, please. Wake up, please. If you are too big to turn on the switch of the light in your room, you'll be in darkness. Yes, I'm the owner of this house. Good luck. I can't be waking up to turn up the light and stay in darkness. You turn on the light, sir. The age notwithstanding, you can't turn it on, the, it won't be on. There is no shortcut to rising and scaling height. It's by walking in the light of scriptures. The good news is here. Everyone in this church serves God so, so madly. And among the rewards of service is fruitfulness. Psalm 127 verse 3. The word says, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is its reward from our service. So when you are a child of God, you have that inheritance. When you serve God, it's part of your reward. So everyone is entitled to at least two. One as an inheritance, two as a reward. <laughs> Amen. 
Okay, you cannot number as many more as you want. One as an inheritance, two as a reward. You shall serve. There shall none that serve be barren nor cast their young in the land. So you won't bury your children. Yeah. They won't die in your womb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so it, it's a covenant, and it's a covenant keeping God, not a covenant breaking God. Therefore, for every winner under the sound of my voice worldwide, you have heard it before, but your heart wasn't open. Now, I prayed this morning, I prayed before I came in here, that my God that opened the heart of Lydia will open your heart. <laughs> Today, as a daughter of Zion, a daughter of Abraham, it is your heritage. He said to Abraham, he said to the seed of Abraham, in Deuteronomy 7 and verse 14, and thou shalt be blessed above all people, there shall not be men of him a barren among you, nor among your cattle. It is our heritage in the Abrahamic covenant. Can I hear your amen? <laughs> it's our reward in still worship. Therefore, I declare every waiting mother, mothers of children. Yeah. Everyone called barren, I declare you this morning, mothers of children. Receive that in the name of Jesus. Receive that in the name of Jesus. Receive that in the name of Jesus. Can I have everyone say after me, Jesus? Jesus. Thank you for opening my eyes of understanding to see that fruitfulness is my heritage a redemption. And as a seed of Abraham, and as a seed of Abraham I, thank you I thank you for opening my eyes, opening my eyes to, see to see that fruitfulness, that fruitfulness is my reward, is my reward from, serving you. from serving you, Jesus. Jesus. Because the covenant keeping Father, because I, keeping Father I, receive today I receive today my heritage, my heritage of, fruitfulness. of fruitfulness. And I receive today my reward of fruitfulness. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 28, and let's go verse 1 to some other verses there. Now, and it shall come to pass if you will hearken to the end of my voice, observe to do what I command you to do, that the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And what happens? Verse 3. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy work body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of your business, Amen. the increase of your enterprise, Amen. and your career. Everything about us is ordained to be fruitful as we discover the table of the covenant that makes it happen. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, every barren area of anyone's life is converted to fruitfulness today. <laughs> Among the blessings is that the Lord will cause the enemies, your enemies are rising against you to flee before your face. They shall come against you in one way and they shall flee seven ways. That is, no barrier will be able to stand your way. Yeah. So, one that says, show me how you will have children that won't let go, we go down for you. Yeah. Every agent of the devil arrayed against your fruitfulness in your endeavors in life will clear the way for you. Yeah. 
The Lord shall command his blessings upon thy storehouses and not in all that thou settest thy hands to do, which includes your career, and he shall bless thee in the land with the Lord thy God give thee. That's what happens when we assess the tables of the covenant. You know what he says to do and you commit yourself to doing it. Believe in him to make good his promise in your life. It's done. It's done. My covenant will not break, nor utter those that are gone forth out of my leaves. Everyone's case here is settled. Yeah. It's the dawn of a new day for you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I therefore decree, in the name of Jesus, for every winner on the line for Miracle Children, today as your day of visitation. Is the last day you will stand for the fruit of the womb call. Yeah. Your next appearance will be a testimony. Yeah. Again, I decree by the blood of Jesus in this communion service, every conception hidden forces destroyed and every challenged individuals set free. Yeah. And they overcame it by the blood. So it's your day. It's your day. Yeah. Therefore, as we partake of this communion today, everyone should believe God for perfection of all things that concerns our fruitfulness in life. Yeah. Because we are empowered to live like Christ from the communion table. John 6, 57. And may the passion of Christ come alive in everyone. For fathers in our kingdom, stewardship, advance, stewardship advancement so that we can make it to the end and to the full in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your right hand before the Lord and give him thanks, everybody. Give God thanks for light. You are in the potter's house. It's giving shape to your life and my life right now by his war, by his war, by his war. You have just tumbled into something that will keep adding value to your life forever. Thank him. Thank him. And thank him. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Now, very quickly, you are here in this service this morning, and you are not born again yet. I'd like to pray with you. New birth is a starting point for a life of fulfillment and the guarantee for eternity. It's a win-win platform. And simply repent. There will be a change. And I think we start going the right way. Wherever you are at this point, you want to say, Jesus, save my soul. I repent of my sins today. Forgive me all my sins. Make me a child of God. Make me a new creature. Grant me a brand new beginning. Wherever you are in this service, please stand to your feet. I would like to pray with you. You want to be saved today. You want to be born again today. You want to become a new creature today. Stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. Many more are standing up wherever you are. Get up on your feet. It's your turn for a change of story. Get up on your feet wherever you are. I'd like to pray with you right now. Right there where you are. Right there where you are. Right there where you are. Many more are getting up wherever you are. Get up on your feet. Salvation is no makeup. It's no ideology. It's an experience. If anyone becomes a new creature, all things have passed away. All things have become new. Your taste will change. Your outlook will change. Everything will take a new turn in your life as you give your life to Christ. Amen. Now, there are also people here that need to rededicate their life to Christ. Please keep standing. You were once born again, perhaps, and you want to rededicate your life to Christ because you knew you took off at a point. The joy of before, you don't know them anymore. You want to be restored. But until you return, you cannot be restored. You want to rededicate your life to Christ this morning. Please stand to your feet also. I pray with you at the same time. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus this morning. Please stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. 
Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Many more standing up. God bless you wherever you are. Please bow your head for prayers, all of us who are standing. And lift up your right hand to heaven, right there where you are. Lift up your right hand to heaven. And pray this simple prayer of faith. But let it come from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, save my soul. Say it loud. Save my soul. Forgive me all my sins. I repent of them today and I look up to you for my forgiveness. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. I therefore proclaim you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe I am now a child of God. I am now restored back to the faith. And thank you for this. Amen. Now, keep your hands up. Be blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover each of you with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Remain covered against all satanic manipulations. Nothing from here will draw you back from following Christ. Amen. Receive grace to follow through to the end. Amen. Receive grace to live the overcomer's life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. Shall we all rise? All that brought their baby item to church this morning as point of contact, lift them up before the Lord. Lift them up before the Lord. You brought your baby items today as point of contact for your miracle children. Lift them up. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, and those who may not have come with their own, please, put something on your paper. Write something on your paper. Write something in your note. Jesus, I received my miracle children today. You can give them the name you desire. Jesus will answer you. We are in the potter's house. It's giving shape to your life. For everyone that believes God for their own delivery today, receive in the name of Jesus. Yeah. As a seed of Abraham, you are not permitted to be barren. Therefore, I declare you fruitful. Yeah. As one serving God and the interest of his kingdom in this commission, be rewarded with miracle children. Amen. Be rewarded with miracle children. Amen. For everyone that is due for settlement in marriage that will resort into fruitfulness, Today, receive your settlement. Yeah. It's Mother's Day, so I declare every woman, every lady set for marriage, a mother of children. Yeah. Lord, whatever name anyone may have named in this service, turn into a testimony. Yeah. Set of twins, receive them now. Set of triplets, receive them now. Amen. Set of twin, all boys, receive it. Amen. Set of twins, both girls, receive it. Amen. Set of twins, one boy, one girl, receive it. Amen. You will testify. Amen. Within the next four weeks, everyone called barren will be tested for pregnancy. Amen. Remember, it's your reward. Therefore, receive it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, everybody lift up your two hands. And we are set for the communion. Let the stewards please come. As you partake of this communion today, expect the passion of Jesus. Serving God keeps things working. He keeps things working. Except the passion of Christ. John 2, 14 to 17, they said, The zeal of thy house has consumed me. Will you reach out to heaven and ask for the transmission of the passion order of Christ to come alive in you through this communion table? Now keep your prayer life fervent behind the closet. Keep your soul winning, passionate, more than ever. Keep your engagement on fire on Kingdom and Holland Sea Worship. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. 
Lord, let the zeal of your house consume me as I partake of your nature from the communion table today. Now, come and receive it. Let your nature of health and vitality take over my life right now. Take over my life right now. Take over my life right now. There was no sickness in you, no pain in you, no ache, no cancer in you, no HIV aid in you, no heart problem in you, no kidney failure in you. Whatever cannot be seen in you must not be found in me. It's illegal. 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 Let our consumption hidden forces inside of me give way, way. Give way today. Impotency give way. Infertility gives way. Thank you for it, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Anything you do with understanding and touch to that outstanding results, don't just take the communion as a snack. It's a mystery. It's a mystery that changes people's stories. In the name of Jesus, your change of story is settled. We, I declare the table set today, both here at the Faith Tabernacle and around the world, as the flesh Amen. and the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let it deliver Amen. every single one's desire. Amen. I decree today that the passion of Christ that keeps a man, a woman, burning for, for God all the days of his life be released into our lives. Amen. May the zeal of his house consume every one of us Amen. afresh in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now receive your healing. Amen. Receive your deliverance. Amen. Whatever is unlike Jesus in your life clears the way today. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please get seated and take your turn as you may be directed where the choir ministers. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know I can stand secure. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope in your holy word. I put my hope in your own for Jesus.
God a big hand of praise for your encounter today. Amen. The water is still being stirred. It's the stirring of opportunities. The stirring of divine opportunities. May no one here miss his portion. Good news. To the glory of God, over 200 kingdom care centers have been set up across our WSF area. The kingdom care centers are set up for commitment to the kingdom care covenant in addressing the welfare needs of members of the winner's family. And therefore, by this Wednesday, we'll all be uh, allowed I mean, to assess the address of video centers where we shall be taking non perishable food items, clothing, <laughs> and other materials that may be detailed in the forthcoming announcement. We expect the centers to be uh, properly in place and the timing of attending, attend, attending to people will be clearly sorted out. Jesus is Lord. Not one winner will suffer shame in this season. And may everyone that puts into these enjoy heaven's order of blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Youth in the house, give the Lord a big hand. The Easter Youth Alive Camp meeting 2024 comes up from 28th to 38th of March. The theme is renewal. Can I have you say loud renewal? It shall be a great time of transformation from the Lord for every single one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is holding here in Canaan land and across our various churches globally. So be part of it in the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands. May the passion of Christ that we all partook of in this service speak loudest this week. Amen. May every soul and family targeted by, targeted by each one be delivered into the kingdom. Yeah. May every soul targeted be prayed down into the kingdom. Yeah. And may this coming Sunday be another Sunday of bumper harvest. Yeah. And as the harvest comes in, your harvest of rewards shows up. Your harvest of rewards shows up Amen. in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For every soul brought to the kingdom last this yesterday, I decree the establishment in the faith Amen. and in this church. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, we are growing from the root up. So get them across to the midway service this week. Get them down to the WSF on Saturday. And together we are going next levels. Next Saturday is the next uh, corporate outreach of the church. Be part of it in the name of Jesus. For all those who are part of bringing people to church today, favor will never run out of your houses. Yeah. For those who have extended help to others in the course of the week, your generation will never lack help. Yeah. Every good thing a man does, the same shall receive from the Lord. You will never lack returns from heaven for your investment in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Lift up those two hands and give God thanks, everybody. Give him thanks from the depth of your heart. Father, thank you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus we have prayed. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together, surely.
God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go. Be blessed as you do. All our new converts, please be reminded to take the We Love You card you have been given to any of the new convert tents outside the major entrances to the tabernacle. You drop the card there and pick up the gift item that is waiting for you. If you came in after the worship offering, the officials around the altar, various exits, they are carrying late offering tags. You can do what to drop your offering and be blessed as you do so. If you want to share a testimony in the second service, quickly rush to any of the major entrances.